Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell and today is my very first uh, vlog. I've never done a vlog before. So grab a cup of tea and a notebook and let's spend an afternoon together. I feel like it's been a minute since we hung out been on YouTube almost four years um, in a couple months and I really haven't done a lot of personal content so we are starting that today and I'm excited about it. I'm in my living room, you guys don't get to always see this and I just kind of realized, yeah, with all the weekly tutorials, of course I feel like you're getting to know me and I'm getting to know you guys. The community is so wonderful. Um, but yeah, since I'm gonna be doing two videos a week in 2019, I thought adding a vlog to the monthly video schedule would just be fun and will add a little more personal touch to the channel. And if there's anything you guys wanna ask me, I wanna just chit chat, you know, just hang out. And what I'm gonna do is start my very first art journal. So what I thought it would be fun to do is do um, a vlog every month where I do some art journaling and we can kind of journal together if you wanna follow along. So grab a journal and we can actually journal together. I promise it'll be fun. I am just getting started. And today I'm gonna to work on my cover page in the journal. So I'm gonna guide you through that. This isn't as much of a tutorial as most of my videos, uh, but we're still gonna kind of like work through it together because that's just fun. And make sure you watch until the end of today's video because I am doing a journal prize pack giveaway to celebrate, you know, doing it, the journal and doing my first vlog. Starting a new journal means I got to buy a new journal and this time I chose the Liecterm. It's my first experience with this brand, so I'm excited to try it out. And of course I got to go shopping. I'm just at one of my favorite bookstores in Charlottetown. I'm looking for a journal for my art journal for 2019. They've got a lot of choices. There's Rodia, um, Baron Fig, which I'm using for my 2019 bullet journal. So I kind of want to try something different. They have Moleskin, Liecterms, maybe Strathmore as well. So I don't know, I've got a big choice to make. I guess I thought what it might be kind of fun to talk about today since it's my very first vlog and we have to start somewhere is kind of to tell you guys a little bit about who I am and um, Chris and I currently find ourselves living in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, which is Canada's tiniest island province in the Maritimes um, and we are working as YouTubers. So I guess I want to talk a little bit about how we got there and the question that we get the most often when we like like meet new people or we haven't seen someone in a long time is how do you make money on YouTube? <laughs> so let's talk. And I'm just gonna get started in my journal. Whoops, I'm spilling my tea. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna start with my cover page and then I'll show you guys what I'm up to. This is not a tutorial like the other videos, but it's definitely, I'm gonna show you enough that I would hope that you could, you know, do the same thing if you wanna do this in your journal as well. So anywho, so Chris and I met, we were living in Stratford, Ontario um, in late 2010. We met in a bar um, in November. Um, I was waitressing, I had just gotten off work and Chris was there. And anyways, we just met and we fell completely head over heels and we were inseparable immediately. And um, first we moved to Toronto. Um, Stratford was just sort of a seasonal uh, industry. We both worked in the restaurant industry, Chris as a cook and me as a waitress. Um, but Stratford is a small town, small tourist town in Ontario. Um, so it was very seasonal. So we ended up leaving there and we moved to Toronto. Um, and we lived in this crazy apartment, scary, like dirty, gross apartment in Toronto for a couple of years, but we fixed it up and Pretty much as soon as we were done fixing it up, we were like, where should we go now? <laughs> yeah, we finished sort of our time in Toronto and we just realized, you know, there's so much of Canada that we haven't seen and we wanted to, we wanted to experience our country and uh, the truth is we had this blanket on our couch and it was from Prince Edward Island. It was made here. And one day we were just having tea and we were like, 
why not PEI? Why not Prince Edward Island? It's this tiny little province and we don't really know that much about it and it's part of our country and we could go there and we could work. And, and we did the road trip out to the East Coast, out to Prince Edward Island. And we did our first summer here in 2015. That was also when I started the YouTube channel just before we left the city. And we were just on this crazy adventure. We were so excited about it and everything just felt really new and really fresh. And it was so funny. It was like, it was like being a little kid again. We, um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, we didn't have Wi-Fi in our cottage that we rented that first summer. So that was like a totally new experience for, for our brains to not be inundated by our phone. And I'm not even someone who's like, yeah, I need to get off my phone. I love my phone, but yeah, it was weird. <laughs> but it really calmed my mind down. It was totally different experience. It reminded me of being a little kid. Um, and I also felt really young again for another reason, and that was that we were just taking in so much new info. Everything was new, and it really slowed down our pace of life. We were just, everything was different. Our, where we woke up, and where we went to get groceries, and where we went to work. Everything was so completely new, and so our life all of a sudden seemed really slow, the way it does when you're a little kid, like how a year is the longest time when you're young. Um, that kind of happened to us again. Anyway, we just fell in love with PEI. There's wildflowers everywhere and the ocean and the coastline and all these beaches with no people on them. And we could go bicycling and it was quite idyllic, at least as far as sort of what we wanted out of life. So we had a wonderful summer working here and we just, Loved it, but we had to leave in the winter because it is a seasonal place as well. We went out to Alberta where Chris's family is from and uh, we did a season in the mountains working at a ski lodge. So that was really cool. Anyways, this is getting a little rambly, but we spent a few years actually like that on the road. We would come back to PEI in the summer and then we would go somewhere else for the winter. Um, we went to Iceland for a few months and we were just living our dream of being young and being able to travel and sort of live out of a suitcase and we put all our stuff in storage. So of course we got the benefit of, you know, not having having a lot of stuff weighing us down. It was a great experience. And um, at the end of it, I guess, at the end, we decided that we would like to move to Prince Edward Island, at least for a while. And so that was last winter. So in the fall of 2017, we came out here permanently. And it was also at that time that we we're like, well, Prince Edward Island is, the cost of living is lower than some places. So why don't we really give this YouTube thing a shot and we can both spend the whole winter working on the YouTube channel. And so that's exactly what we did. Uh, I am talking so much, I'm not really telling you guys what I am doing in my art journal. So let me get back to that for a second here. I'm just writing out a passage from one of my favorite books and I wanna create a graphic page that's full of text. And I think the text is almost gonna become like a pattern on the page. And then I'll put a little painting on top using a piece of ripped paper. And actually, speaking of my favorite passage, this is actually, I'm doing a passage from Walden. You know, it's a little overquoted that I wanted to live deliberately. Um, Thoreau is a favorite um, of mine and Chris's, and we use some of his um, philosophy, some of his writings at our wedding. And yeah, so I just think it'll be like a really appropriate way to start my art journal. So anyways, where was I? Um, yeah, so in terms of YouTube, we hit the ground running when we moved in here last year. We wanted to turn this into a profitable, bu profitable business for both of us. And um, the way we do that, basically, long story, story short is that we've created this content and we get to create whatever type of content that we want, which is, that's the most amazing thing I think about YouTube is that if you have an idea um, and a vision, you just, you get to go after it and do it for yourself and no one can stop you and no one can tell you to do it this way or you're doing it wrong or anything. So my vision has always been that I want
want to create art content, but not art content that just shows you what I can do and that, you know, potentially alienates people and makes them feel, oh, I could never do that. I want to create art content and creative content that makes you feel like you want to pick up a, pe a pencil or a pen or a paintbrush. I want to create content that's inspiring and interesting and hopefully helpful. The thing about creating a channel is that once you have an audience, once I have you guys, this community, uh, you can sell advertising spots on your videos. And that's basically how we make money. And so we sell ad spots on the videos. And I know that's sort of a contentious topic and everybody who is a blogger and YouTuber has a different take on that. And some people will say, I'll never put ads on my content, it'll always be ad free. And I am the complete opposite. I always say I'm going to place ads because the ads by placing ads, you guys get free content and the corporations pay the bills. Uh, so instead of me saying, Hey, I'm doing a watercolor course and it's $300. I really hope you'll join me. I'm doing a watercolor course all the time, every week, every month, and it's always free. And even if you could afford it, I hope you will think of, well, obviously there's tons of people that can't, and, and there's kids out there that wouldn't have access to expensive courses and people all over the world. And so it's this free community where everybody gets to come in the door, and I just love that. And the way I do that is to get the big companies to pay, um, by placing these ads and then you guys get all this free content. And I'm not saying I never would do in-person courses or potentially a one-off course. And I don't think it's bad to spend money on those courses either. Obviously learning is always a good idea. Uh, but yeah, I just love the way things are set up because I can sell these ad spots. And of course, by offering free content to you, getting paid through ads, I get to make a living and I get to make better videos. So when you see an ad, know that you're getting this for free and the quality of the videos is going up. I know so many of you have been so sweet saying how you've seen an improvement over the years. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, Chris and I have both become like videographers <laughs> over the last two or three years. So yeah, okay, so that's, that's pretty much, um, I guess what I wanted to tell you guys about YouTube and, and what we're up to around here. Just finishing up the writing portion here. I love this line. Our life is frittered away by detail. Simplicity, simplicity, simplicity. So true, we just get so lost in the little things. What I wanna do now is like, I've just brought a few pieces of watercolor paper over and I want to put one in the middle. See how the text becomes like a pattern? It's of course the words are meaningful to me, but even if you can't read the whole passage, it doesn't really matter because it creates this backdrop. And I just wanna paint like a really simple flower there. And then I am going to put 2019 on there as well and just kind of make it like a very, very simplified, you know, cover page. I just want to paint like a very simplified flower and I'm gonna start with some little leaves and if you are following on, along, I'm, I just mixed up like a very dark green uh, and I'm using like a very, very small little detail brush. I like a brush that is uh, a round brush, synthetic bristle, but there's no wrong brush. It's just really whatever you're comfortable with. And I am just going to paint a very loose, loose watercolor floral. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I mean, it might be, maybe I'm a little stiff today. I think I'm trying to like, let you know who I am and like our whole story. But I think going forward, I just will be, you know, kind of want to share what's going on with me this month or this week and just do, do a little bit of like, like I said, personal sharing, little chit chat. So today we covered a lot of ground with like, how I make money on YouTube and these big topics, but we won't always get so, so complicated. But if there's anything that you wanna know or stuff that you wanna chat about, questions, just leave them below. And um, maybe one month I'll just do like answering some, some questions and stuff like that. And we'll just do sort of 
do another art page. Oh, and speaking of the journal too, like if there is um, something that you'd like to see in an art journal or for a sketchbook piece or something, then that's also stuff that we could work on together with the, in these vlogs. All I've done now is add a little bit more water to that dark green so that I'm basically doing the same kind of leaf shape, um, but just in a lighter color, which is kind of like a nice design element. I'm gonna do yellow flowers, you guys. I'm always a bit like, color scares me, but I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna get wild here. I'm all about that yellow. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll never turn my back on blue and gray. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I think just this once it will be okay. I'm doing some, some little guys off to the side. At the bottom, there we go. Okay, flowers are done. Now what I wanna do is just sort of join them all together. Okay, I'm liking that a lot. I'm just gonna write 2019 in there and then as soon as it dries, I'm gonna place it in my journal uh, with just a little double-sided tape, I am thinking. And that's gonna look so cute. I might have to, I might rip this to cut it down a bit more so it doesn't cover quite as many words. But yeah, I'm, I'm super liking that. Okay, this is dry. I'm just adding a little bit of double-sided tape and I'm gonna tape it in the center of the text here and then I will have completed the first page in my art journal. Like I said, an art journal, I think, can just be whatever you want it to be. What I'm planning for mine, oop, almost out of tape. What I'm planning for mine is to basically have it be just a bunch of like, things that inspire me and motivate me. Yeah, I don't know, maybe next time I'll know more what it is actually going to be. And I'd love for you guys to comment below and let me know what your art journal is to you. Like, is it mostly a sketchbook or is it mostly a diary? Um, or is it like, do you do a lot of collage or something like that? So, but I definitely think it can be whatever you want. I'm gonna finish it by just adding a little bit of pen to the illustrate or to the watercolor so that I, kind of bring the pen from the back up onto this part of the illustration. I'm basically just adding the center or the stamen to, to the flowers. And then I am just going to write 2019 here. People always say my ones look like sevens and they totally do. <laughs> okay, anyways, I think that's it. My art journal cover page is looking pretty. I'm super happy with it and uh, if you guys would like to win a whole bunch of stuff to start your own art journal or your own bullet journal, I've got a prize pack that includes a journal from Bear and Fig, a bunch of washi tape and stickers and really cool stuff from Washi Wednesday and some other goodies. So if you are interested in entering the giveaway, definitely just click the link in the video description and there's tons of ways to enter. We try to make it fair for everybody and international entries are welcome. Welcome. The contest closes in two weeks time on January 25th. Well guys, thank you so much for watching my very first vlog. I hope you'll join me in art journaling this year. And uh, yeah, it turned out to be really hard to write words and talk. <laughs> so next time it'll just be painting, I think. <laughs> we had a lot of fun making this and um, you're definitely gonna see another vlog next month in February. Bring the energy up. Cool. Have fun. We're having fun now. I forgot to light the candle. Shh. Forgot the candle. Do you want a beer? Yeah. <laughs>